most of New Orleans is below the median sea level at negative seven feet or two meters. The city is surrounded by many bodies of water, including Lake Pontchartrain, the Mississippi River, the Gulf of Mexico, and many other small lakes, bayous, and swamps. New Orleans has a very intricate system for dealing with flooding. It's made up of more than 350 miles of levees, flood walls, gates, and pump stations that encircle the New Orleans metro area. Since Hurricane Katrina in 2005, about $14.6 billion has been spent on the Army Corps of Engineers upgrades for hurricane defenses. Our first look is at the pumps and the pumping stations. There are 1,400 miles worth of drainage pipes with 120 pumps housed in 24 stations. Below is the Bell Chase pumping station, which is the largest in the world. New Orleans has an average annual rainfall of 64 inches, which is twice the amount of Seattle, Washington. The pumps are designed to move one inch of water out of the city within the first hour of a storm and a half inch of water each hour after. Large rain downpours can quickly overwhelm the systems and still cause street flooding. The pumps are managed and operated by the sewer ridge and water board. Below is their headquarters. The sewer ridge and water board is a very unpopular entity in the city due to the mismanagement of pumps that leaves areas of the city flooded after an afternoon downpour. Next is the levees. A levee is an embankment or wall usually made of earth that separates bodies of water from inhabited floodplains. They're meant to protect those areas in the event a lake or river level rises. If the water rises higher than the levee, it will spill over. But a levee breach is not just a question of height. Levees can also crumble under pressure due to poor maintenance, inadequate foundations, or erosion. Roads and railways sometimes cross a levee, so flood walls and flood gates, which are usually made of concrete or steel, are used to close those gaps. There are more than 200 floodgates in the New Orleans area. During Hurricane Katrina, there were over 50 failures of the levees and flood walls protecting New Orleans. Ahead is the 17th Street Canal, which is the largest and most important drainage canal in the city. On August 29, 2005, at about 9.45 a.m., a 30-foot a long section of the flood wall failed, sending torrents of water into New Orleans' Lakeview neighborhood. The breach quickly expanded into a 450-foot wide gap through which billions of gallons of water from Lake Pontchartrain poured in, destroying hundreds of residencies and causing billions of dollars in property damage. 31 bodies were recovered from areas that were directly flooded. The breach section can still be seen today. At the intersection of Canal Street and City Park Avenue is the Hurricane Katrina Memorial. Built in 2009, the memorial is dedicated to all those who suffered or lost their lives during Hurricane Katrina. The memorial also serves as a mausoleum that contains the bodies of 83 people who were either unidentified or unclaimed by family members. However, the story does not end here. Make sure to check out our next video as we take a tour of modern New Orleans' most iconic buildings.